With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a uh, question in which it says the apparent coefficient of volume expansion of a liquid when heated, filled in vessel A and B of identical volume are found to be gamma 1 and gamma 2. So these are the apparent coefficient of volume expansion uh, for vessel A and B respectively. If alpha 1 be the coefficient of linear expansion for vessel A, uh, then that what will be the coefficient of linear expansion for vessel B? Given that true expansion minus vessel expansion is apparent expansion. So let's try to analyze the given situation. So let's suppose uh, in general we are discussing the case over here. Let's say there is a vessel in which a liquid has been filled. And let's suppose that the uh, liquid has a vol coefficient of volume expansion as uh, gamma L. And container is having a cubical expansion or volume expansion as gamma C. Alright. So uh, when it has been heated. So. Uh, the volume of liquid uh, certainly increase as compared to that of the uh, container. So, uh, because we know the coefficient of expansion, volume expansion for liquid is always more than the coefficient of solid. Or we can say in this case it is container. So, liquid will start overflowing as its volume is increased. Alright. So, let's suppose that uh, for vessel A. Now we are considering two cases for vessel A first. Then, uh, then we will consider. Then we will consider it for vessel B. Let's consider it. Let's consider the case for vessel A first. So we will write it as for vessel A. So this is the first case. Now uh, in this case we can write. Uh, we can straight away uh, use the result uh, that has been given that is true expansion uh, true expansion is equals to we can directly use the result as true expansion minus of vessel expansion is equals to apparent expansion all right so from here uh, the meaning of expansion here it means that there is a change in volume so uh, let's suppose that the initial volume of the liquid is v before heating and when we uh, when the the system is started heating so its volume changes and it becomes delta v so now we know uh, by the cubical expansion expression we can write v final is nothing but v initial into 1 plus of coefficient of uh, cubical expansion into delta d this is the expression which we have uh, studied uh, in the theory part of uh, thermal expansion so from here we can uh, derive the expression that is delta v that is change in volume can be written as v initial gamma into delta t now using this expression uh, we can write in the above uh, expression we can write true expansion will be nothing but it can be written as v uh, into gamma liquid and into delta t so it, this is the true expansion minus vessel expansion can be written as volume initially uh, was same of vessel and liquid so v into gamma c into delta t and that would be equals to apparent expansion volume is v Apparent expansion coefficient is given as uh, gamma 1 into delta t. Therefore, from here we can write uh, gamma L minus of gamma C would be equals to gamma 1. Therefore, from here we can write the value of uh, gamma liquid would be nothing but uh, gamma 1 plus of gamma C. Let's suppose this is our equation number 1. Alright. Uh, now in the similar way for vessel 2 we can say for vessel 2 or vessel b we can write for vessel b this is the second part so in this uh, in the similar way we can write uh, gamma l would be equals to gamma 2 minus of uh, plus of gamma c all right so uh, this is the same expression which uh, we can write it over here 
now we know let's uh, suppose that this is our equation number 2 now we know the relation between the coefficient of linear expansion that is alpha and between the uh, areal expansion that is beta just for the sake of understanding we are taking beta and finally for cubical expansion it is gamma by 3 therefore from here we can say the relation between alpha and gamma can be written as gamma can be written as 3 alpha all right so uh, if we use uh, this expression in 1 and 2 we can get now from 1 and 2 we can write the expression can be written as gamma l and that would be equals to gamma 1 that is for container we can write it as 3 alpha 1 that is for vessel a and similarly gamma l equals to gamma 2 plus of uh, 3 alpha 2 for vessel b this is for vessel a this is for vessel b all right and we are interested in finding the value of b only now we can just uh, equate the two equations and we can write equating the equations we can say this can be written as gamma 1 plus of 3 alpha 1 and that is equals to gamma 2 plus of 3 alpha 2 so solving this value we can get the value of alpha 2 as gamma 1 minus of gamma 2 divided by 3 plus of alpha 1 all right so this is the uh, final expression for uh, coefficient of linear expansion for vessel 2 which matches with the option D so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today